channel. How's everybody doing? All right, real quick, man. I got a simple job here on my uh, my 2012 Chrysler Town and Country. As you can see, well, you may can't see, but uh, that window do not work. Okay, now let me uh, turn the key on and show you something. This is called verifying the complaint. All right, key on. Now let me hit this switch. As you can see, nothing. All right. Now, if I go over here and do this switch. Okay, let me do this window. You can see the window working. Okay. So what does that tell you, ladies and gentlemen? Uh, that tells you two things, at least. Uh, the window regulator is working and the window motor is working. Okay, so that was easily verified by simply uh, switching switches. Okay, we switched to the master switch and see if it worked. And it does. But on this switch, it doesn't work. And on top of that, this switch feels flimsy. Okay, so there's a high chance that this switch is just internally coming in part. Yeah, this button, you can't even press this button. Okay, so what we're going to do... What I'm going to do, I've already diagnosed it. I just wanted to share the diagnosis with you. Here's what I got. A brand new switch. Now, you got to keep in mind uh, the difference between a master switch. A master switch obviously goes on the driver's side. This is a driver's side switch, okay? Now, like I say, there's several ways to diagnose this, but because this failure was a mechanical failure, not an electrical failure, okay? So, if this was working or... You know, you didn't feel any kind of mechanical uh, parts loose or coming apart. Then you have to do an electrical test, which will require you to test at the connector. OK, on this particular problem, I don't have to do that because, again, my problem was mechanical. All right. So all I'm going to do, man, is simply replace this. It's fairly easy. Again, we've already verified that the window motor and the window regulator works because we use the master switch okay so i'm just gonna simply pop this out they're fairly easy all you need is a little small pry bar and uh i was kind of hoping this wasn't mechanical because i was going to show you how to you know test it as far as uh what pins are power supply and ground when the motors works uh kind of tricky man so you know they all protected by some sort of a circuit breaker or fuse but you still have to have power supply and ground, you know, to operate it. So let me plug this in. I still have the switch on. Hold tight. Let me get this thing plugged in. All right, we're now plugged in. Let's just simply see. There you go. All right, A fairly simple diagnosis and repair only because uh the old switch was uh coming apart and as you pry this out you just simply press it back in so this is a pretty fairly quick easy diagnosis it also comes with door lock operation fairly quick easy diagnosis on how to repair your windows okay this problem turned out to be a window switch all right where's the old one? here's the old one see sometimes so you hear a lot of stuff going on you it's safe to believe that something just coming apart internally they go they go uh, they short out every now and then i like i hate the word bad but they go bad a lot all the time okay that one was pretty obvious all right i almost feel guilty making this video this was too simple okay but all my minivan lovers will be at least they got a chance to see how it's replaced. So if you turn out, if yours turn out to be faulty, you have somewhere to turn to, somewhere to go. Online Mechanic Tips is the place you can go to find out all your minivan uh, maintenance and repairs. All your do-it-yourself type work. All right, so in this video, I don't want to be long and no sense of being long. Thanks for watching. Comment, subscribe, and I'll see y'all on the next video.